DLC trailers for Marvel vs. Capcom? Will we see the world's first 8K VR headset? Let's find out on Impractical Daily. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite has been out less than a week and we already have a new DLC trailer for the female Monster Hunter. The trailer featured her using multiple weapons from blades to bows and arrows and ended the trailer with showing us her finishing move. There's no defined launch date or pricing for Monster Hunter herself, However, if you buy the 2017 character pass, then you'll have access to her along with all the other confirmed DLC characters. Square Enix released a trailer for their new survival action shooter, Left Alive, at the Tokyo Game Show. The teaser trailer did show us a lot, but it did give us a glimpse into the environment the game is setting, which looks to be a barren wasteland ravaged by war. The third person shooter is expected to come to Steam and PS4 sometime in 2018, and I'm sure Square Enix will release even more deals over the coming months. Pixbox have completely destroyed their crowdfunding goal for their upcoming project in creating a VR headset with 8K resolution. The original goal was $200,000, but that was reached within a few hours and is sitting on more than $781,000 from over 1,200 backers with 43 days to go. Pixbox claimed that their headset will eliminate the screen door effect and reduce motion sickness, and should they succeed, this will prove a huge step forward in VR gaming. Voting for the 35th Annual Golden Joystick Awards is now open to the public as of today. The awards presented with Omen by HP will take place in London and the voting will run through from now until November 3rd. If you want to vote for your favourite games, developers, voice actors and YouTubers, then I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check it out. And if you vote in all 21 categories, you can get a free gaming ebook, the list of which I'll also leave in the description below. That's it for Impractical Daily. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.